Hey community group leaders and teachers, I hope y'all are doing well, having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited to introduce to you this week's Leadership Minute. This is one more tool that you can have in your tool belt to lead more effectively. This week, I actually wanna talk a little bit about uh, exploring what's going on inside of you and looking for ways to feed your soul. The truth is, is that as leaders, we, um, we only thrive off of what God is doing in us and through us. We can only lead out of where we've been. And so this week, as we're looking at the Leadership Minute, I want to highlight a book and then talk about one of the points he brings out. There's a book by a guy named Daniel Henderson uh, called Define Gravity. It's actually a really, really good book. It talks a lot about some leadership values in it. He talks about how you know, a plane has several gauges that help you understand how to fly. And even if you're flying dark, even if you're in the most difficult circumstances, those gauges give you a guideline for where you're at and what's going on. Typically, plane crashes happen when people ignore the gauges and think they know what's happening. In the same way, leaders typically start going rogue or, or start even having major problems in their personal life when they're ignoring those gauges and ignoring what's going on. He talks about one of the gauges actually being your spiritual well-being. And he talks about how it's really important for every leader to spend time daily, spending time in the Word, spending time praying, spending time basically investing in your relationship with God. Those are important things. And when, when leaders stop investing in their personal relationship with God, that's when it's one of the indicators that things can start to go south in a hurry. And so I want to encourage you today, whatever's going on, whatever you're doing, make sure that you are spending today and every day spending at least a few minutes investing in your relationship with God. That will enable you to be able to lead other people to the throne room of God, to be able to help them experience God's presence in their own lives individually in a more powerful and profound way. Um, there, he offers some other great tips. I, I can't recommend this book enough. It says it's for pastors, but it's actually for everyone who's a leader in the life of a church. And it could equally apply for those who are leaders in the workplace. So um, hope you have a wonderful day today. If you have questions about maybe some fresh ways that you can grow in your walk with God, maybe some new ways to study the Bible or pray, reach out to me. I, I want to give you some more tools to grow. And actually over the next month, for this month, the month of Thanksgiving, we're going to look at some fresh ways to be able to grow in our walk with God. I hope you have a wonderful day, friends. Hey, God bless.